okay percentage of students receiving internship for my batch i would say 95% the remaining 5% got research opportunities for the summer uh, i don't think there, there was any problem in that aspect i mean obviously a few people will get it earlier and a few people will get get it later i think the fall season uh, career fair is probably the second week of september if i'm not wrong so no so for the first semester would be uh, all, uh, like students would typically be targeting uh from the third semester from the second semester people who are still looking for internships will obviously go and try find internships the rest will start looking for jobs and in the third semester it will be most it will be everyone would be looking for jobs first semester would be uh 20 to 30% because at that point you barely have any coursework on your resume uh, at that time only the people who have a lot of super relevant work experience from the fancy companies will get the internships will get the calls for internships uh in the second semester by the second semester a career fair people will have some stuff to show on their resume and that is also when most companies will go into full swing for hiring interns so that is when the rest get calls so from ec mostly everyone gets into some form of software development except for the weird hardware people who i don't know what they end up doing um yeah and research is very hard to get for an internship definitely unless you have like 10 years of work experience or something yeah there was one girl uh, not in ec but in some other department she had like 13 years of work experience having said that mostly everyone will uh, get some will be looking for some software engineering related internship opportunity or something so if your internship is in the california bay area the rate is i would say uh, an average of 40 dollars an hour um uh, that's where most of the people get an internship uh, and for some weird people like me who choose to go to minnesota and stuff you get between i got rupees five dollars an hour yeah roughly it's it's 12 weeks actually again how much you spend during the internship varies a lot based on where you are living how you choose to live uh, but yeah almost uh, everyone makes sizable savings uh, most of us used it to fund part of our last semester education and stuff and internship is okay. something that you definitely want to aggressively pursue because uh it affects your uh, chances of getting a good job a lot because uh it's it's the most recent work you have done it is a lot it is relevant work that you have done uh so yeah if you if you intern in a good company uh most of the times you will be able to convert your internships to a full time opportunity 95% of us get a full time offer from our internships 